Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Kez here. Welcome if you're new. Um, if you're into hair, beauty, travel, uh, tea, let's talk. Definitely subscribe to my channel. Um, and let's get right into this video. Today's video is going to be a hair update. Not this hair, but my natural hair. If you guys watched my professional silk press video, first professional silk press back in August, um, I got another one and I got another trim. So we're just going to talk about like the difference, if I felt like the trim was worth it. Long story short, absolutely, like the difference in my hair is crazy just in three months. One, it pretty much grew back to the length that it was um, prior to trimming it the first time and the first time my hair is all over the place, the lengths, the, sh the um, breakage, the um, split ends, the um, single strand knots. So it was definitely worth it. Um, I never showed you guys how my hair looked after the first um, silk press. Um, after I washed and everything, I did not have any heat damage. I'll show you guys some of the footage here when I washed it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to put it in or whatever, but basically, here it is. <laughs> um, okay, so after I washed it, um, it was good. I actually felt the difference in my hair as well. Wow, this wig is shedding. <laughs> um, I felt the difference in my hair, the difference on my ends. It was a lot easier to just style my hair and stuff like that. It was super duper quick, and I actually have put my hair in a slick back um puff uh for my fenty skin intro video the seven days into fenty skin video that i did so if you haven't seen those videos definitely check them out um and yeah i just really noticed a difference so the cut was needed plus my hair definitely grew back and i honestly didn't take as much care of my hair as i could have like i was doing my washes and my deep conditions maybe every two weeks two to three weeks um and just seeing this time when she straightened my hair she took the picture before she trimmed and i was like whoa the fact that it all grew and even <laughs> said enough for me you know what i mean um and then she trimmed it again and after the trim um because i do get single strand knots my hair is 4c and fine i get single strand knots so you have to trim those off because you can't like take those knots out one by one or anything like that. Um, the best thing I can do is really deep condition my hair as much as possible and make sure that my ends are moisturized to help with that. So that's really on me. Um, and it's best to trim them because no matter what you do, um, they're going to come in. You know what I mean? So just trim them off. Trim the split ends. I did have some split ends. And the difference was bomb. I'm going to show you guys how I got my hair curled before and after. So yeah, I can see the growth. I can see the health of my hair just in three months time. Um, I did this back on November 20th. Um, and bomb. I actually went out. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you might have seen me in my little um, silk press. I had a little outfit. When I went my best friend, we went to um, SDK. And I'll just tell you guys what it was like upkeeping it the second time around. So I got it out on a Friday. I, I was going out on the Saturday. So I was like, oh, I'm going to try wrapping my hair this time. And let's see what happens. So the first time I tried putting it back into the um, pink curls that she put it in. And it was summertime too. So and I saw it in my head. But um, this time I wrapped it. Make sure like, I look at some tutorials, figured out how to wrap my hair because it's been a while because I've had to do that. And even when I was relaxed, I wasn't a wrapper as much as I was like, I'll put my hair into like bands and not out or something like that to keep my hair in some type of style that wasn't with heat. Um, so I wrapped it. Next day, woke up. Mm, I had like, some of my hair was starting to revert on this side right here because I fell asleep. And if you're in New York, I'm going to keep mentioning this, I tweeted this, the heat can come on in the middle of the night, you can have on, like it's cold because the heat is not on, right? And you put on a comforter, but you keep your feet out just in case, you know, so just in case it gets hot. And I like to be warm, I don't like to be cold like at all. So um, I fell asleep, everything was good, but in the middle of the night it got super 
hot so I sweat and yeah that side was a little bit um it reverted a little bit not like full-on revert but it reverted a little bit you could feel the texture and stuff so I was like shoot what am I gonna do I'm supposed to be going out tonight I wanted my hair to be nice and styled um but my sister reminded me we had um whatchamacallit flexi rods listen I highly recommend one flexi rods keep your hair kind of taut so you're able to kind of keep that tension so it's not looking to revert it's keeping that smoothness that tension so if your issue is your roots it'll keep it smooth if your issue is your ends it'll keep it smooth um so i highly recommend doing flexi rods if you're trying to maintain your natural hair um during a silk press um game changer okay i was able to keep my hair i want to say for like a week um week and a half and my hair i still didn't wash it out yet yeah, my hair is still pretty straight um but it's not like bouncy and smooth and all that i kept a bounce and all that for a good week and um that was just because i didn't add anything to my hair besides a very 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 light oil from nature Labs. it's like a, where did i put it i was like oh let me make sure i have it for the video i don't know where i put it but um it's a very light oil that's for heat protecting anyway um and i just put a little bit of that to help my hair smooth back and it really bounced back so that night that i went out was the second day um i had my hair silk pressed and it looked pretty darn good it did like i don't say it shrunk because what happened is when you curl it it gets tighter because when she did it it was obviously looser curls like you can see it but once i went out that other night the night after it was kind of more tight but it was still smooth it had bounce all that fun stuff so it looked really good after that that was the only thing i had to do <laughs> like i don't have plans and stuff so it was whatever but i continued to um <sighs> flex around my hair and then i went to work right or was that off oh that's what it was i was off that week so i was off that week um that was thanksgiving week um so I just kept my hair in the flexi rods. Me and my sister, we went out for her birthday. Um, when did we go out? On her birthday, which is the Wednesday, the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I had my hair out. Yeah, at that point it was getting, um, I could definitely see the texture because depending on, you know, obviously you're showering. I didn't do a cold shower. It's winter. There's Cold showers are not happening. I don't even do cold showers in the summer. I do hot showers all year round. So I did like a warm shower um so the texture was kind of getting into my hair more like but not like reverting just like my natural texture kind of popping back which is not a bad sign because you don't want your hair to um like some people heat train their hair i don't want my hair heat trained i want my hair to have its natural texture so yeah it's the give and take you know what i mean you're not going to get everything <laughs> um so yeah for thanksgiving my hair was what did i do I don't think I even took a picture. I think I took my hair out of the flexi rods after a while. But, um, yeah. So, that's basically what I did. Flexi rods, I highly recommend. If you really want your hair to stay straight, 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 you have to really be careful with the heat um, in terms of the shower. Because the steam from the shower. And then when you sleep, if you get hot um, and sweat in your head, you might want to be... You might have to be sleeping cold or something if you really want to keep it all the way um, straight. But... I was really happy with the results and most of all I see the difference in health in my hair and I see like the difference in still getting a trim after those three months so I'm definitely gonna keep the trims up um, I am NOT going to silk press my hair again until next year because I do not want heat damage I do not want my hair to be um, heat trained so I'm just going to the next time I get a trim I'm just gonna get my hair blown out because she does that as well T Slay Studio, I keep saying she. T Slay Studio, she does um, blow dry and trims, or you can do a full silk, uh, silk press and trim. Um, so I'm just gonna do a blow dry next time, just to hopefully avoid heat damage. We'll see how my hair reverts this time. I think it's gonna revert though. Um, I just haven't put actual water on it and washed it yet, just because laziness, to be honest. Um, but I'll probably do that like next weekend um yeah so my next trim is gonna be in february so i'll definitely up, uh, update you guys on that and we're gonna see um 
where my hair is at that point basically getting your hair trimmed every 12 weeks is not a bad thing like some people say they only trim their hair once a year and I feel like it it's case by case for me again with this the, um, single strand knots it doesn't make sense to wait that long because then my hair is prone to breakage and then it will look like how it looked when I went to get my initial trim so that's what I was doing I was not trimming that often and ergo it looked crazy but I'm confident that my hair is going to look really nice and full this time next year. So the next silk press I'm going to get is in November um, of 2021, hopefully. And um, I'm just going to upkeep with doing my trims every three months. I think that's a good timetable for me. I think in that time, my ends, for the most part, they stay good. And then I felt the difference. And it's like, okay, yeah, it's definitely time for a trim. So that's what I'm going to do. Think of anything else, I will leave it down below. Again, I went to T-Slay Studio in Brooklyn, New York. She's not accepting any um, appointments for this year, but it's like a few weeks left to this year. So definitely still check her out on Instagram. So, um, that's about it, I think. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions about my hair or about my silk press um, experience and trim experience. Let me know if you see the difference between my before and after. And thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!